Hey everyone and welcome to Teaching with Sierra. Today's video, I thought I would take you guys a day in my life as I am by myself as the teacher today. Um, not only am I by myself as the teacher, but you guys know that um, this year we have had that one student where you have to be technically like one-on-one -on -one with. So I'm hoping that, um, that I get to see like the difference of like when it's just her and then of course like when it's just me so for breakfast my co-worker bought me a um, coffee I guess from Starbucks or Dunkin one of the two she knows my favorites so um, yeah she bought me that but at home I decided to make my bagel with some cream cheese and then I'm just gonna take some orange juice to have after uh, for lunch I'm just gonna have to go out and get something for lunch because I didn't feel like packing anything today and I have literally packed lunch every day this week so this is probably the perfect week that I've had in a long time um, with that being said my hair is done my outfit for today is just some sunflowers yellow pants and then I have on like some cheetah new balance um, we do go out to play first thing in the morning at 9 so that does make a huge difference um, it makes a huge difference with you know like what I come to work in as far as like sandals no not yet um, but anyways I'm gonna get ready to head out as it's 720 Friday all right let's see guys for lunch today it is pizza or pizza pizza all right who needs pizza that's in here so far all right, let's see. I'm gonna get folders going. Pearl took hers home yesterday. All right, so here's all of our folders. Anybody else need lunch? I have Pearl, Wes, Colette, Luca, Jack. Want to do something else if the back of these chairs are not cleaned out today. Summer, of course. All right, very good, Julian. And then Walter Peacock rounds us out by asking, "What did the baker give his wife for their anniversary?" Flower. This morning oh. is that you're gonna greet your neighbor neighbor in a ghost voice. So when you do a some authors use words to tell how we think or feel about a topic, we can use these words to convince readers to take action. Today we will write about our favorite fruits and we're going to convince readers to believe it's the best fruit too. That means that we're going to use facts or to make an opinion. All right, so they're still doing board games for G-Day. I am testing. All right, great job, Georgie. Next, you're gonna use these cards to make your own repeating pattern using three different pictures. So it's now dream box time. I'm still testing. All right, so it's my lunch time. Apparently they were doing like a staff um, luncheon. favorite salad. It's a Caesar salad from Kroger. You add in these extra spices. All right, so I'm back in my classroom. Getting ready to sit down at my desk or attempt to sit down at my desk. <laughs> um, first of all, what parent calls himself making chicken salad using chicken over lettuce. 
Yeah, I'll wait on y'all to comment on that one. Um, anyway, so I got a Starbucks Frappuccino vanilla flavored, of course. And then um, I also got on my plate a roll, some pasta salad, the Caesar salad, like I said, from Kroger. I think I have some um, egg salad and then just like uh, tomatoes with mozzarella cheese. Um, so that's what's on my main plate. Now, our little napkins came like this. It says, we appreciate you. Um, and then I have four pieces of dessert. This is a piece of baklava. This is brown butter rice crispy. I have no idea what this is. And then this is just a um, chocolate chip cookie, basically. Now, when I did check my mailbox, these are what we get. So what you get is a envelope like this that has um, basically just thank you cards from like students. So one of them was from my student. Another one is from another one of my students. And then um, another one is from a student in my class. Another student in my class. Um, a letter from a fourth grader who I didn't even feel like, you know, knew who I was and another student in my class. So nothing too special. Um, also in my mailbox is this card right here. I have no idea what's in it. Every year we get gifts. We'll just have to see. Um, yeah, Miss Davis, we appreciate you. River loves having you as a teacher this year. So thankful for you and the wonderful BME team. And it's from my student that um, gave me the, um, that gave me a Myrtle Beach card when they went on spring break. So it's that. And I think that that was it. So normally we do get gifts of like money, but haven't, haven't seen that, you know. Um, but anyways, other than that, we shall see what else the day holds. So this week has been Staff Appreciation Week. Um, so I also like received a, a gift uh, a gift card basically to get a free wash across the street, and then we also got a um, five dollar coupon for the Kindness Cafe, which is over at the YMCA. And then I also got a pad um, that has a pen and um, a notepad with the uh, school's logo on there. So I'll take that home. Um, my student this morning gave me, I'm gonna end up breaking the chocolate before I can even open it. So she gave me some chocolate and it is um, caramel and sea salt dark chocolate candy. And then just a card um, that says, thank you for being her teacher. So that's all that um, beholds for today. I am actually gonna make a run to the next classroom and give these gift cards to them. And I'm eventually gonna sit back and eat my food before my kindergartners come back. The rest of our day is gonna look a little bit different um, because we have, they're in Cloud or Collab right now. When we come back, we're doing outside play, closing circle, and then they're going home for the weekend.